What we want is to connect new screenwriters in Scotland with the big business. We have a very clear sense of our purpose, which is to run a programme specifically for screenwriters. I think what we're looking for is very ambitious new talent. We're very privileged to work alongside Film 4, Channel 4, Screen Scotland, Highlands and Islands Enterprise, the local Torrevey distillery. I'm struck by the similarities between the time it takes to prepare a great whisky and the time it takes to develop a great script. We have BBC Alapa, MG Alapa, Solmore Ostig, the Gaelic University is here. BBC Scotland and BBC Films are also new partners. This year we had some new mentors. We also had a new round of participants. Young Films Week has been a massive journey, much bigger journey than I thought it would be. Just a whirlwind of ideas, lots of presentations and uh, lots of feedback. But it's been very inspiring, it has challenged me and has got me to challenge my work. Her mentor feedback is that I have to do this work in the world. I have to do this work Most writers like writing and they hate pitching. We started the week off with a pitch and what I thought was really nice is we finished the week off with a pitch and it was the same pitch but taking on board all of the feedback. I think somebody has to be there right at the beginning saying, OK, that, what's the story? You know, um, what's the character? What's their problem? What are they going to do about it? Any scheme which brings together screenwriters has remarkable potential. And you infuse their ideas with depth and complexity and sometimes more clarity, hopefully. <laughs> We have an infrastructure which is unusual. Solmore Ostig, the Gaelic University, is here. We have a production studio set up. We can take our projects straight into a machine that's actually making TV drama. I was looking forward to getting in the studio with my script. Yeah, it was great to remind myself of what it takes to transform these words into something alive. We are doing some direction. Um, I just realised just how much is involved. It's hugely beneficial being the director. I, I learned so much from it. I felt like I was learning a new language on the spot. We had an editor on site and we cut the scenes that were shot and had a session where we could actually go through the edited scenes. Sky is absolutely at the heart of the residency. It's all about bringing the world to Sky, allowing new talent to connect with the wide world. Bringing them to somewhere as exquisite as Sky creates an atmosphere, it creates a sense of trust, and it creates those bonds and that frankness of conversation and that flow that is completely invaluable and completely unable to be replicated in a one-to-one -one meeting. One of the great things about the residency is that people talk truthfully about their experiences and that's quite rare. Where we've been very lucky is to have a very high quality range of mentors. I think it's just access to like people who work in the industry and how it works at, at a professional level. There's very senior people here and they, you know, they, they've done this like day in and day out for years. Well, it's an incredibly immersive experience for everyone, not just the participants, but all the people who are working with them. I mean, it's a fantastic and varied bunch of people. It's very egalitarian, so there's no sense of us and them. and Everybody sits around together and, and, and learns together. Having the chance to be exposed to a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds, I think, is useful no matter where you are on the kind of career path. The film world is, a lot of it's a mystery. What goes on at this event is a great way of, of dissecting and pulling it apart. What they can learn about all of the different facets of the industry. I can't imagine that they'll get many other opportunities like this. You're in the restaurant, you're in the distillery having dinner and as a participant you're sitting next to a commissioner from Channel 4 or the head of BBC Films. Every evening there's a gorgeous dinner, which is very nice of course, but there's a time to just have a conversation. It is so inclusive and I think it makes everybody feel like 
this industry is not closed off to me. These are normal people who want to help me. Training and education is so rare in this industry. We expect people to somehow have, have learned so many things. You come out with a really clear idea of what television and film really means. That's the gap you have to fill. And by the time you leave this, that gap is gone. I remember wondering what the magic step was between being an aspiring filmmaker and being a filmmaker. I've been really struck by the question of proximity and what that does to an industry and what that does to the opportunities of up-and-comers. So opportunities that are literally on the doorstep of young filmmakers and TV makers in London aren't as available in Scotland. My advice in terms of applicants would be think really hard about the project you want to bring because the likelihood is it's going to be interrogated from every angle. If we're to make a success of the film and TV industry in Scotland, it's got to come from the talent. It's about helping people to uh, develop and be nurtured here and to stay here. There's a very strong feeling I have that in Scotland there is not enough connection between the talent and the money. If I can do one thing, it is to connect talent to money. This week has made me feel like I'm on the inside, and I think that is such a gift. What I'll take away is just, you know, grab it with both hands and get on with it. You're able to make the best of the time for you. It's all been such valuable time and I thoroughly recommend it.